This is my go-to bait. All you need is a sand flea rake. The official name is mole crabs. We call them sand fleas around in here. You probably have heard sand crabs. They're all the same thing. These little critters are great for fishing in the surf. And then you can see with this color, they're actually pink. And that reason is because we already blanched them. And blanching is the process of preserving the bait so that it can last for a year or more. Now, in my opinion, sand fleas are better than shrimp because they stay on the hook better and they're easy to find. You can literally go to the beach with one of your sand flea rakes and just find the little V's in the sand and scoop them up and you're good to go. You have fresh bait right from the beach. So simple guys, you just go, wait for the wave to wash over, and then you dig, because they get exposed when the waves washes over. You dig them up with your sand flea rake, which you can find at a local tackle shop. And you can see they have a, if you can turn one over Jeremy and show them the digging claw, so that right there is the digging claw. That's what they use to, to move the sand. And then their five sets of legs move the sand up and out, working like a conveyor belt. And show them the eggs. As you can see, see those orange eggs right there? Female sand fleas, this is a female. Female sand fleas can carry up to 45,000 of those eggs on their belly each mating season. Right here, you can see some sand fleas. We're gonna rake them up. You can go ahead and rake them up whenever you're ready. Up oh, there you can kind of see the V's. There we go. Oh, they're jumping out. Hey, there's a male sand flea. There's a male sand flea right there. I don't like that. Pretty cool. One. All right, let's let him go. About like a ghost shrimp. Pretty cool, that was a male sand flea. We're gonna let him go back into the ocean. The mole crab, or sand flea as it's commonly referred to, is the most popular bait for surf fishermen as they are abundant food source for fish like pompano, whiting, black drum, and red drum. These little digging machines can burrow quickly, so you have to be fast when harvesting. They are also super alert, so your shadow or even the vibrations from walking can spook them deeper into the sand. So I like to dig deep with the rake, but you can also skim a wide area of the top couple inches of sand. Up oh, there you can kind of see the V's. There we go. Up oh, they're jumping out. And you can do this method as well that Jeremy's doing where he's scooping with his hand and keeping the rake on the downward side towards the ocean so that any of them can't escape and just keep scooping, scooping, scooping. Then go to the water and sift. And sure enough, look at all those sand fleas. Here we go, here we go. Check that out. That is a nice colony of sand fleas. All right, Jeremy, go for it, man. Whoa. So this wave comes, get them. Nice, that was a good scoop right there. Nice work. All right, well, we're just gonna keep enough for bait and then we're gonna release the rest. 